So the road is still filled in, but you can see it's getting rutted. So I hadn't shown, been showing mo most of the drive just because I'm having to focus, but there's a ton of like car camping spots. I think I'd said that in a previous video, but like there's some nice ones. Like over there's one. And there's, you know, they're, they're like on both sides of the road too. So um, yeah, it's been a fun little drive just seeing, seeing all everything. Cause I haven't been on this section of road. on the right. Hmm. All trucks. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so we're here coming on the cove so you can see there's a few people here. Relatively small parking area, especially compared to the but overall pretty nice. Looking forward to being on this trail. So my total pack weight I think was 15 pounds or just under that. Um, so I got everything in a 36 liter pack for tonight. Got some Sally's pack. I'm ready to go. Alright, hopefully I got everything. If not, at least it's a short walk back to the car. So. Ah, trekking pole. There's like a little camp spot there, I guess. Right, so you walk, come down, and Conley keeps going straight, but there's like a trail off to the left right here, it looks like. And looks like it goes out to Buzzard Point. So we'll go a ways and see how far we feel comfortable going. Um, because everything's kind of wet, so I'll worry about slipping, but we'll just see what we can see. So, I mean, this is like an eighth of a mile or so from the parking area. Oh, oh, I'm going to be soaked. Um, it looks like it's pretty heavily traveled. This is Buzzard Point. Oh, wow. Oh, baby.
I see now why it's called Buzzard Point. Definitely worth coming down here. It, I mean, the trail is pretty straightforward. Just know that like there's steep drop-offs on any side you look. So just use caution, but it's definitely worth it. I think that was more like a crash landing. Okay, let's go, Sally. Bye. Behind. Oh, uh, is this the trail? Oh, I got sticky sap stuff in my hair. I guess this is it. I don't think this is it. We missed it somehow or other. Because I don't remember. Maybe that is it. I'm pretty sure we made a wrong turn. So now we got to go back this way and find the, pick up the trail. Come on, so. And it's funny because when I passed by this rock, I was like, I don't remember doing this. And that was kind of my first in, kind of first sign that I was off trail. I was like, I don't recall this. Oh, goodness sakes. Okay. Yeah, so that actually to me looked more worn than the actual path. So this is the actual trail. I think, I don't really know, but so from the parking lot to Buzzard Point and back 
is 0.71. So here's where me and mom had come down rock drop and then her did that. So it'd be nice to just enjoy Conley at a leisurely pace instead of worry about what, find, trying to find camp. So. Out here, right here under this rock overhang. Because me and mom didn't see this when we were coming down, because I wasn't expecting it to be under a rock cliff. I saw the rock cliff, but I didn't see this campsite. I mean, <laughs> I don't really know if you can classify this as a campsite, but I mean, it does have a nice fire pit, it looks like. It's used. They keep it dug out, apparently. I mean, this is just too cool. You got plenty of water here, too. But I just, I mean, like, I don't see a place to set up a tent. I guess that would be the biggest, the biggest thing. This is cool, though. So I think about the only place you could camp. Maybe you cowboy camp and just sleep right there on like one of those like foam mats or something. Maybe down here, but like, I just don't see a place for a tent. Oh, is there another little campsite there? And it's just a little overhang, I think. So we were just over there. I will note though, we've had a lot of rain, quite a bit of rain the past couple of days. So I don't know just how wet and muddy this trail stays under normal conditions. But still really pretty.
So I don't know if you can actually see that on the tape or not, but right see there is that a rock outcropping. I think that's where we were at earlier on Desert Point, looking south. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't know what just happened that there's a big crash through the woods. Kind of sounded like a rock. At first I thought it was a bear. So right now I'm going, hey bear. Um, but I think it was a rock. So I don't know, it startled me. It's like, what in the world? Hey bear. Like, I honestly don't know. I mean, it could have been nothing. I don't know. I mean, but it was definitely something. But I just don't know. It was just a rock that fell. I mean, regardless. <laughs> yeah, it's just like neither neither option's really that good, especially since the trail like zigzags. So anyway, I don't know. I mean, I don't see anything on the trail. But like it started. I mean, like something from up there somewhere. But I don't know where it ended up or if I, you know. This hill looks like it slid some. What's that? Well, it's the third weekend in April and the trilliums are done. This would have been really pretty probably about a week or two ago. Week, week ago. Um, this whole area is just covered with trilliums.
I mean, it's just been covered with trillions. Wow. Maybe three quarters of a mile from the campsite, so shouldn't be too far. Oh man, the little bench is gone. Like there was a bench that I want to see some idiot burn it because it, it was from here to here. Oh, it's so nice. Man, bots. So somebody did make the fire pit better. This one here's been pretty much dismantled. So that right there's what was set up the tent. You could fit probably two tents here. But anyway, we'll keep going up river because we've not been up that way, so. See something new. And hopefully the storm doesn't come this way, even though I'm kind of worried we may wait to go to the waterfall just to see what that cloud over there does because I would rather go ahead and get the hammock and everything set up before like having to set it up in the rain or a storm. We'll be on new territory. I've not been on this section of the Limbo Gorge Trail. So. that in mind for future trips. That's gorgeous. It's a nice one. Hopefully the other ones weren't taken. They have to backtrack. Be better off to just go through the water.
does the trail go down? Or does the trail go up? Oh wait, did I miss the trail? Pretty cool. So maybe I go across right there. That moves. the campsite oh there's cathedral falls all right so this is our campsite i believe oh, right down by the river awesome all right let's go down let's go down and check it out looks like i may be sitting and scooting this is steep a place for my chart but that is cathedral falls this is such a pretty campsite here I man it's not ideal like you could fit one tent maybe two here but made it work it's worth the steep climb down but it was so cool i don't know if i caught it in the time lapse or not but there were some kayakers that came down and went da went down this. I was like, what? It was so cool. I'd be scared to death. But it was neat to see. So I've got everything set up pretty much. I didn't put the I haven't put the quilts on yet because it's pretty still pretty warm. So let's go lounge, maybe read. But we're gonna go down, get water and all that, top off my bottle. Um, just in case it starts raining, I'd rather just go ahead and have my water ready. So if I have to cook underneath the tarp, I'll be prepared. <laughs> but, I mean, I've got plenty of space under here. I mean, I'm standing up. Hopefully the rain don't, like, blow in over there, but... I mean, can't beat this view, though. And I got Sally's set up over there, under there.
going camping up there. I think that's the Spence Bridge um, crossing, but there's no bridge anymore. Got some firewood gathered under the hammock just in case it rains and yeah just gonna sit here and read Sally's over there chilling out uh, lay back and relax a little bit so. pretty nice spot I like it we'll see how we do but uh, got water and everything so we can cook later but it's like 1 30 so I'm just gonna chill out for a little bit maybe take a nap Man. It's great just to have a relaxing trip. <laughs> Not be stressing out about finding a campsite or making up miles or anything. So. Anyway, just sit here and relax. Hey, I know, I know. You was running, wasn't you? You was running. You was running. Yeah, I think we'll go up that way. Coming down that was a little, a little sketchy. This is incredible. Like the, all this right here is flood. That's that's water that our stuff has got washed down in a flood. Are you now ready to play with sticks? Ready? I can't believe they kayak down that. There's a bunch of like dry wood up and under here, so it's just getting it back to the campsite. Oh, big rock above my head. Okay. This is incredible. All right, it's dinner time. I'm having the food for soul, most biscuits and mushroom gravy. Unfortunately, um, food for soul went out of business, so this is the last meal I've got with them. Um, it was really good, you know, it's all like vegan, vegetarian meals and stuff, and they had a lot of cold soak options. But, I say, unfortunately they went out of business, so this is the last meal I've got by them. And I've got some sour fruit gummies. And I also brought all my chocolate and um, instant coffee to have by the fire later if the rain holds out. Hi 
Why does have? Oh, I love this view. So, I think it's hydrated. I just crumbled up the biscuits in there and let it hydrate all together. So, we'll see how this is. Looks gravy-ish. I think it needed a little more water. Okay, right. hey, looks good. Oh yeah, that is delicious. Come back, food for soul. I mean, that's really good. I don't, I think, cause that was kind of hard to like, have by anyway. That was like one that sold out anytime they had it. So like, I didn't want to just use it for any trip. So. I am, you know, there's nothing better than sitting by the river. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy dinner. Dinner was delicious. It was so good. I forgot how good that meal was, otherwise I probably would have tried to order it more. Instead of trying to save it. smoke out the valley. Call it a night. Have a good night by the fire and all that. The trail was gorgeous today. Really enjoyed sunrise at Pinnacle and just having a just a nice easy day. But uh yeah. Just sit here read. Go to bed early. It's supposed to rain I think in the morning, so I'm trying to decide what time to leave, but meantime we'll just enjoy this Night.